Hey guys and welcome to JTech WP. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can move your email files and addresses from your old server to your new server. I'm also going to show you how you can copy the email forwarders across as well. It's a pretty straightforward process. What we're going to do is create the email addresses on the new server using cPanel. So you go add email account, create the email accounts. And then we're going to copy the folders from the old server and basically overwrite the new server folders and that'll input your emails. We're also going to copy across the forwarders as well. On our old server, we've got these two email addresses here. We're going to need to create these on the new server. So make a note of the email address of each of these. Then we're going to jump into the main part of cPanel, go into File Manager. We want to make sure that we're in the home directory so you should be able to see public HTML and mail. This is the one we're looking for here, the mail one. Double click that. Then we're going to highlight all of these. Right click, compress, select zip archive. Compress files. This may take some time depending on the size of your mailbox. While you're waiting for this, if you've got any mail forwarders set up, it'd be a good time to back those up. So go back into our cPanel and then we go to backup wizard and we're looking for backup and we're looking for email forwarders and filters. Click that, it should be quite a small file. Then click on the forwarders. There we go, it's downloaded. So we've now got our email forwarders and our email folder backed up. Once your email backup's finished, you should see a results box like this one. We can press close. And now I'm looking for this file here. It's a zip file. What I want to do is download that. So right click it, download. On your new cPanel, we need to set up the email accounts. Go into email accounts, then press create. Fill in your email account names and you'll see the emails are empty. So we need to go into our file manager, go into file manager. We're in the root directory, there's a public HTML folder and here's our mail folder, which is where we're going to put the files. As you can see, the size is pretty tiny as we just created them and we've got no data in there yet. Making sure you're on the new server, go into the mail folder. Then we're going to press upload. Then drag your mailbox.zip file up to here. Also tick overwrite existing files. Once your upload's completed, we want to check it's all there. Go into email accounts and then we just click on check email. Round cube or hoard will do. All our emails are in there. We now need to import our email folder. So I just go into cPanel, do a search for backup, backup wizard, and go to restore, email forwarders, and then we just upload our file, choose our file, and I think it was called alias. There we go, it's that one. Open that, upload, go back to our cPanel and we're just going to check our forwarders in here. There should be a couple. Yep, those have been ported. Fantastic. Once you're happy that the emails are across, change your name servers to your new server. Press update. You can now go in and delete the zip file that you uploaded as we don't need it anymore. Delete that. Confirm. Well guys, if you found that useful, please hit the like button and smash that subscribe. And if you've got any comments, leave them below and I'll see you on the next one.